Hi guys, it's Natalie. I am your preschool minister here at Choctaw Road Baptist Church. And I just wanted to um, just share a little bit with you guys. Um, some of you may know I'm a mother. I have three kiddos ranging from age seven to age 14. And recently I was talking with my two older kids about some of the events that are going on right now. And we talked about possible school closures coming up and the fact that we would be spending some extra time inside our house um, in the coming weeks. And before I even realized what was happening, my seven-year-old was in tears. Um, obviously I felt horrible that he had overheard this, um, this situation, the conversation, and he was so upset by it. Many of you might find yourself in that same boat right now. Maybe you're a parent, maybe you're a grandparent, um, and you have children that are looking to you right now. They're looking to you for comfort. Um, they see that there are things going on. Their, their normal routine is being turned upside down. Even if they're not really old enough to fully understand what's going on, they sense that something big is happening right now. They see that we are stockpiling groceries in our house. They hear the conversations that uh, we're worried toilet paper is on, in short supply. Um, and they, they understand, they just know that something is happening. Um, so you might be asking yourself, what do I say to them? What am I supposed to do with, with the children right now um, as they are facing these uncertain times just like we are? Um, so I'm going to give you just a little bit of advice, um, things that I've picked up along the way. First of all, I learned very quickly uh, to limit those conversations with, um, with my little guy around. I'm going to watch my words. I'm going to watch the things that I am talking about that we are discussing as a family and make sure that if his heart isn't ready for it, we're not having those conversations in front of him. I'm also going to make sure that our TV isn't turned on to the news 24 hours a day, seven days a week in the family room where he's seeing all of those images and, um, and press conferences and things that he just really doesn't need to be focused on those things. Um, secondly, the advice that I would give to you is just that your kids are going to learn by your example. So if you want them to stay calm, I'm going to suggest that you try your best to stay calm. Um, they feed off of you. So if they sense panic or fear, those are the things that they are going to be feeling as well. So do your best to lead by example. And then the third piece of advice, if I could give you any, would be just to use this time to point your kids to Jesus. Um, you know, you look in the Bible and there are so many different examples of um, people in the Bible going through hard times, um, struggling, facing dark days. And there are just as many examples of God comforting them and even God rescuing them in the middle of their darkest days. Um, so look to the Bible and look for those examples and things that you can share with your kids to give them comfort. Uh, one of the verses that I've been thinking about a lot is in Joshua chapter one, where um, God is telling Joshua that Moses has died and that Joshua is going to need to lead his people into the promised land. And God uses um, in verse nine, this moment to encourage Joshua. And he says, be strong and brave. Do not be afraid. Do not lose hope. I am the Lord your God, and I will be with you everywhere you go. That is the most comforting thing that I can think of. When we are home and we're feeling secluded because we're maybe we're quarantined or we're staying at home trying to um, use social distancing right now, um, we feel alone. We feel lonely. But God reminds us that we're never alone. He's always with us. Um, if you will share this verse with your kids, if they've spent time with us here at the road, they probably could tell you that verse by heart. Um, and we even have some motions that we use. And so if you'll remind them of, of these motions as they say uh, this verse, it says, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1, 9. Share that with them. Remind them of it. Have them say it as a mantra just to help themselves to stay calm in those moments when they're not feeling calm. Pray with me. God, we love you and just thank you for that encouragement today, Lord, that in the midst of um, just a really trying, scary time, God, that we know that you haven't left us, that you are with us, God, and we can look to you for comfort. We can look uh, to you for wisdom um, and just, just knowing that you are walking with us every day, God. 
um, just helps us so much, God. So thank you for that reminder. We love you, and it's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen.